What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited to dive into this. We got we got some some, some tea right here. We got Trudeau's officials leaked India linked intel to Washington Post. Man, Canada and India, bro. This this relationship is just is just going to be completely destroyed. At this point, I think it already is completely destroyed. So, uh what do y'all think about it? And also, before we jump in, I want to give a big shout out to three new members of the channel. I love it. I love it. I love it. If I say your names wrong, I just want to say I completely, completely apologize. We got Satya Moturi. We got Shank Ramram. And we got Regen Khmer. Um, thank you guys for, for supporting this channel by becoming members. You guys are absolutely freaking amazing. And if you would also like to support this channel by becoming a member, all you got to do is smash that join button to receive your exclusive benefits. Let's get to it. He's just digging a deeper hole. He's Let's turn to Canada it. now, where Justin Trudeau is getting exposed again. Not by again. India, though. This time, by the Canadian media. Let me show you a new report by the Globe and Mail. It says, Canadian Ooh. officials leaked intelligence on India to U.S. media, mm -hmm. specifically the Washington Post. We are talking about secret documents here, documents that were embargoed by security agencies. Wow. Yet Canada leaked those documents to the Washington Post. Two officials were involved in this leak. Both of them have been outed. The first Dang. is Natalie Druin. She is National Security Advisor to Justin Trudeau. The second is David Morrison. He is the Deputy Foreign Minister of Canada. We are talking about two very senior officials here. Yes. People very close to the Prime Minister. If they have leaked something, it means Trudeau signed off. Or at least he was mm. aware of it. Earlier yeah. this month, these officials spoke to Washington Post. They revealed information on the Khalistan case. I feel like even if he wasn't aware of it, bro, like you are the Prime Minister of Canada. These are two very high-ranking officials right under you. So you're going to have to eat this. Even, <laughs> even if you wasn't aware of the fact, it was on your, the fact is it was on your watch, dog. It was on your watch. So, yeah, but you probably was aware. Um, that's crazy. That's absolutely, and the fact that you got leaked by your own country. You got, you got caught out by your own country. It just, Justin, Justin, it just ain't looking good for you, my boy. Things just, uh, it just ain't looking good for you. Of course, the Washington Post ran with it. They published... Course. Their piece on October 14th. It linked India to the murder of a Sikh man in Winnipeg. It also singled out Home oh, Minister wow. Amit Shah, the Home Minister of India. The report talked about him. Clearly, Trudeau's ministers told them about all of this. That too without evidence. Because Canadian police have not named Amit Shah. Nor have they drawn links to the killing in Winnipeg. Oh. So the point of this leak is, was to smear India. Yeah, that, and that's yeah. not the worst part. Trudeau willingly allowed intelligence on India to be leaked, but he was livid when intel on China was leaked. He called it a criminal act. Listen to this. The issue with the criminal who leaked this information is um, they got it wrong in what they leaked. And regardless of what's in the newspapers or not, it is incumbent upon a serious responsible government not to react to partisan attacks or uh, erroneous uh, but uh, uh, salacious uh, headlines. 
What you trying to keep? What what you trying to keep them happy for, Justin? Well, why are you so worried about keeping them happy? Well, what's going on, Justin? Yeah, Justin, I man, you cooked. They they done cooked you fried you. you you're done for, Justin. That's crazy though to call that like when it's about China, it's a criminal act and all of this. When it but you're trying to leak this intel to us and the you. Like your cops ain't even put a link together between the leaked intel, like the killings uh, of that man and India, and ain't nobody been able. Y'all don't have any evidence, so you're leaking intel that there's no evidence to drive it. So it obviously has to be a smear campaign, and of course the Washington Post runs with it because it's the Washington Post. Um, but that's that's crazy. So leaks on China are bad, but leaks on India are fine. Is it because you authorized this one or because mm. the China leak puts you in a bad light? Mm. That's the only explanation. And yeah. this isn't a first for Justin Trudeau. He has repeatedly gone easy on China. He has downplayed their meddling in Canadian politics. But what does he object to? Indian media's commentary. If we call out Justin Trudeau's vote bank politics, it is meddling. If we call Hardeep Singh Nijjar a terrorist, it is meddling. If we say Canadian diplomats seem frustrated, it is meddling. Apparently, only anti-Trudeau stuff counts as interference. If you slam the opposition, it's all fine. We Crazy. saw that during the recent hearings in Canada. Trudeau was called up to testify. He justified the actions of Chinese diplomats in Canada. He said it's part of what they do. The fact that Chinese diplomats are categorizing MPs in their outreach abilities into those three categories is not itself particularly revelatory or new information to me. It is fairly obvious and a part of what diplomats do in all countries in all parts of the world. Yeah, the screws he, are definitely, he definitely got double standards when it comes to India and China. Uh, at this point, it seems like, yes, he definitely wants to put himself in a good light when it comes to China. But when it comes to India, he just doesn't care. Like, he doesn't care. And so that's absolutely ridiculous. Um, you, can't, you can't have it one way and then another way for another country. It's ridiculous. But turning on Trudeau, even India realizes this. Reports say the government is planning a new strategy, the government of India. The plan is to share details of Khalistani oh. extremists with the five eyes. Now, Five Eyes is a Western Ooh. intelligence group. It includes the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and Britain. Five. Trudeau has used the Five Eyes to put pressure on India. So what does New Delhi do? Flip the script. Give details about Khalistanis in Canada to the same Five Eyes. Indian officials have not confirmed this plan yet, but it sounds like an interesting one. Yeah. And the bad news does not end for Trudeau. His party rebellion is growing. Today, the Prime Minister will attend a closed-door meeting. A lot of his lawmakers are expected to question his leadership, to ask him to step down. Their oh. argument is quite simple. We have elections coming up next year. If a no-confidence motion succeeds, maybe even sooner. And if Trudeau stays on, the Liberal Party, his party, will lose. Opinion polls are very clear about that. Dang. So some MPs want Justin Trudeau to step aside. They want yeah. to fight the elections under a different leadership. Yeah. I guess that means his plan failed. Trudeau fall. wanted to divert attention using the Niger case, but his party is having none of it. He stands vulnerable, exposed, and isolated. Trudeau done for, man. You party wants you out. Um, the people have spoken. They said if you run, if you the leader of the party again, they not elected you. That you're not getting elected. That party is gonna be ousted. So they want to run under somebody else because you you ain't got it. And you tried to you tried to throw all these allegations and divert attention by putting it on India and put us spread these lies with no evidence about it. But it didn't work. It didn't work, my boy. I mean. I hope you enjoyed your time in office because it's about to come to an end. That's all we got. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to smash, subscribe, get a video a thumbs up. Check out the next video. I'll see you guys next time.